Hello everybody. And this is a really interesting video. Has the mystery of the Montem Mound finally been solved? Now, in England, wherever there's an old hill, they say it's a Norman Mott. And what I'm saying in this video is I think there aren't any Norman Motts. Uh, the Normans didn't build any. They could have put a few castles on some of them. But it, it's all wrong that they they built them. They didn't build them. They just used them because they were next to towns. Because the towns have been there for thousands of years. And they're, they're dating all... The archaeologists are dating all of them. And they're finding they date back thousands of years earlier than they thought. And this one here, the Montem Mound in, in Eton College, it's near Windsor Castle. And it's just so interesting because it is basically... It's a small little hill. It's called Sloth Hill. That's it, right? Uh, it's two miles from uh, Eton College. Sorry, not Castle. Eton College, which is near Windsor Castle. And they said, oh, there was a, a there was a Norman castle on top. Are you kidding me? How, how could a Norman castle fit here? It, it, it just doesn't seem to make any, any sense at all. And they're saying, oh, actually, it's an Anglo-Saxon monument built 1,500 years ago. So there we go. And there was a ceremony, a bizarre ceremony called the Eton Montem. And here, a greatly exaggerated hill, they used to fling salt at each other. And this went on between the 1500s and the 1840s when they scrapped the ceremony. So they were performing a, a sort of fertility ceremony since ancient times. It is a, it is a harvest mound, essentially. It's a, harv it's, it's a harvest hill, which was essentially a, a type of hill used for celebrations of May Day, etc. Almost like a, like a natural form of a pyramid, really. Now, these things are everywhere. They're all over Europe. The Normans didn't build them. History's wrong. History has made a huge error. And I was walking around in Ireland, and here we have a view of Lord Hartford's house in Marlborough, the 29th of June, 1723. And in this era, they had these geometrical gardens and these huge long canals. And there's this house, there's the stables that could be an orangery to grow oranges. And you look at this thing. This is the Marlborough Mount, where Merlin was possibly buried. And there's a river flowing right around it like a moat. It's almost like Silbury Hill. That's an older picture of it. And this was abandoned in later times. We'll get back to this. It, and do you know what? They said this was... They said this was a Norman Mott. Look what's on top. Some kind of a gazebo or something. A Norman castle can't fit on top of this. But that never registered with anybody. Rodney Castleton writes about these things. They're harvest hills. That's what he calls them. That's what they are. They're a type of pyramid. They're, they're like a stupa. Here's one in Ireland. So I was walking around Antrim. And Antrim Castle, the gardens look a, a lot like the gardens I've just showed you around Marlborough. Which is Marlborough, Merlin's burial place. This is the Antrim Mott, which was next to the, the destroyed castle which burned down in 1914. And it's got this blue stuff. I was walking around it and uh, I, was, I was just... Uh, th this is the, the remnant of the castle. And I, I was just walking around this town. I thought this is absolutely incredible. It's such, such a beautiful town. And I was walking around here. I wanted to get to the top. And uh, just as soon as I took this photo, a guy walked around here in a spacesuit and he said, um, Oh, sorry, it's closed today, mate. So, uh, yeah, I had to, had to leave because uh, he was spraying it with his stuff. But it's, look, it's too small for a castle. What could you put here? A little watchtower? What is going to be here? That's not a Norman Mott. And they haven't dated this yet because not a lot of archaeologic, archaeological work goes on in Ireland because it's pretty rainy, I guess. And archaeologists want to go to Egypt, I guess, or somewhere like that. They should be working on Giza. They're not really doing that. But So we don't know how old this is, but it's not medieval. It's got to be ancient. And as you can see, Ireland is incredibly beautiful. It is so beautiful. 
But yeah, as you see, it, it is a it is it is a place for ceremonies. And that's another one. That's the Dane John Mound, seen from the Canterbury city walls. And there's similar stuff in Poland to this. Very similar stuff. And there were no Normans in Poland. Look, this is Windsor Castle. We know that Sloth Mound at uh, Eton, Eton College is not a Norman Mott. And how about this? This is a Norman Mott in the Windsor Castle. I'm saying this is a burial mound. Windsor Castle, the centre of it, is built on top of a burial mound. There's an ancient burial mound underneath. They plonked a castle on top. This is the Kopiec Kosciuszki in Poland, which means the mound of, of uh, General Kosciuszko, who organized a peasant army, which in one battle beat the Russians. So the people were so happy they allegedly built this. But I, I kind of think that they converted this from an ancient monument. All these mounds are lined up. Again, this is um, this is Merlin's Mount now in Marlborough. This was the first photo I showed you at the start. This Lord's property, and essentially, it looked like this in the past, but it's been transformed. This here was the the, the goddess Kunti, named uh, for female genitalia, and. If you look at the rivers, they're all named after this goddess. If you see a river Kennet, they're, they're named uh, after f for fertility reasons, essentially, and they are associated with mounds like this, with ancient sites. And look at this site. Compare this to the uh, to, to what it looked like in the past. It's all overgrown. This is in Marlborough College. It's a girls' school. This is a picture from the top. That's Merlin's Mount there. And as you see, it's right next to a village so or, or a town now. So, of course, the Normans might have put a castle there if they wanted to. But guess what? The archaeologists found it's not Norman. It, it dates to 3000 BC. History wrong. Again, that's the Marlborough Mount. It looks very much like the one in Ireland. Now that's the Marlborough Mount back when it was owned by Lord What's-His-Face in the 1700s. A nice little geometrical garden is about to grow and he's saying, oh look at my garden, it's going to be beautiful, uh, look at this beautiful thing behind me, very nice. Again, Marlborough Mount. This is the Pilsudski Mound in Poland, there's a tradition in Krakow, there's still a, a megalithic city, they're still building mounds, so Pilsudski beat the Russians, so they made a mound. Anyone beats a foreign enemy, they build a mound. That was done in the 20s, apparently. Uh, that's the Kostuchko Mound again. As you see, it's got this sort of thing around it. Again, see, see they're, they're all kind of so similar. This is the... Uh, and these are all kind of like grass turf pyramids. That's what they are. They're pyramids. They're not Norman Mots. They're pyramids. Uh, this is, again, this is the step pyramids. This is the one, uh, again, in, in uh, the Marlborough Mound. And this is the Vander Mound. There are five, used to be six maybe, mounds in Krakow in Poland. This is a smaller one and we actually went here on a, on a quiet day. No other visitors, so sad. What happened was uh, a, a leader had a daughter of Poland or this, this country it used to be called Vistolania or something in the Dark Ages and he had a daughter called Vanda. He wanted to marry her off to a German. She refused, killed herself in the river, drowned herself and he was a bit heartbroken, so he built this mound here. That's what the story says. The thing is, these mounds all line up. When, when, you, when you're standing on one mound, the sun will rise above another mound on, say, May Day, or an equinox, or a solstice, which is really strange. So, they've been placed here in ancient times, and there were no Normans in Poland, so why call the ones in England Norman Mots? It doesn't make sense. Uh, this is... Is, is this Windsor Castle? I believe it's Windsor Castle. And it's built on this enormous mound. Yep, Windsor Castle. When you're approaching it from the town, it's unbelievable from the train station. It's 
spectacular. That is built on top of a massive mound, which looks, which is a, a carbon copy of Silbury Hill. But no one ever says that. They just say, oh, Windsor Castle, right? But there it is. That's the hill. And this is like the moat around the hill where there would have been a, a river or something in ancient times. And now it's a beautiful garden. It's where the Queen lives currently. And this is so amazing. I mean, it's just a huge, a huge moat, but it was a ceremonial moat, kind of like the ditch around Stonehenge. By the way, don't get in the way of any of those red coat guards because I saw them basically uh, push a tourist over and it was a bit weird she just wanted a photo and she ended up sprawled out on the ground you know just, uh, be careful with those guys and this is looking off the back of Windsor Castle the whole damn thing is on a massive hill there's this huge ditch down here it's just like at the Serpent Mound in Ohio uh, just behind it there's this huge it, it's on top of a cliff and then you're looking out towards Eton College so you'd be looking out towards that Slough Mound so you have a mound city in Windsor. A mound city in Windsor, just like you have a city of mounds in Krakow, where there are lots of these mounds. It's the same sort of Celtic tribe that would have constructed these. And this was their religion, not Norman Motts. That's Eton College over there. Two miles, this is the view from Win I took from Windsor, this photo. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, that looks... To me, that looks like something out of the Lord of the Rings. I thought that was amazing. I walked over to it, and I, I was wondering what it was. And Oh, Eton College, very nice. And I tried to get on a tour, but they didn't let me because I wasn't an employee or something of somewhere. Anyway, somewhere there is, is another mound. And you would look from one mound to another, and that would point your direction. That's a lee line. Guys, thanks very much.